Hi guys, this is Jordan with Western Buckeye Trinity coming to you from our new in the work studio. Uh, kind of bear with us. We're in the process of trying to fine tune all the details for this. If you have any comments or suggestions in this uh, video, you know, let us know what you guys think. I want to talk to you today about an all weather bag. And the main idea for this, we do live in Ohio where Western Buckeye training is at and the weather's unpredictable. So with it being cold or with it being hot, if you carry this bag with you on the truck, you're prepared for anything. I learned a very valuable lesson as a younger firefighter. We had a, a house fire in negative degree weather. I was wet, I was cold, I pretty much froze to death. And some of the senior firefighters uh, that night taught me a valuable lesson on carrying extra gloves, extra pants, extra shirts, all in this bag that you can throw on the truck and go. So in this bag, I carry a wide variety of things, uh, more focused on towards my bunker gear uh, things, I always have a safety vest, a traffic vest with us. This bag is on every truck that I ride out on when I'm on shift at the fire department. You know, per state law, we have to have some type of visible uh, traffic vest, traffic coat with us. So this always stays with me. I keep this in my bag. Um, with my bunker gear uh, set up, I'm a, a forceful entry through the lock uh, individual. So I always carry my tools with me in this bag. I don't have my pockets and my bunker gear bombarded with the equipment. So this bag just stays on the truck. If I need something, I go to the bag and I pull it off. I always carry a striking tool with me because with through the lock, you want a lot of accuracy. So I always carry just a small little sledge with it. All my through the lock tools are inside of this little pouch. Inside of here, I have all my lock pulling, my um, shove knives, things like that, that I can get easy access to and get through a lock that's holding I'll us up. talk about stuff that I keep in uh, in here that might be something for my bunker here, going on runs. I made this little leather pouch, and with this pouch is more towards auto vehicle accidents or an extrication. I always carry an extra set of cable cutters because they always seem to disappear when we need them. Um, I also carry a frying tool because we're always pull and peek before we start cutting on cars make sure we're not going to cut airbag cylinders or some type of device that might harm us if it uh, gets cut with the cutters or spread with the spreaders and then i always have a window punch with me the cool thing about this little pouch is i went to the hardware store and i got a magnet so when i come up to the car i just push it put up against the car with the magnet and it stays right there and it's, it's a working pouch when we're doing the extrication in case something needs up real quick it's right there so since it is a uh, middle of winter in ohio you know we just had some snow this morning and it was almost 50 degrees a couple weeks ago so we get the whole uh package when it comes to bad weather something that i have learned the hard way is not having spare hoods or spare gloves so in this bag i always have a spare hood and i have spare socks because when our feet get cold is when we start to shut down and when our hands get cold so i always carry this with me this goes on any fire any call that i'm on it's always on the truck something else that i carry with is a spare hat so i can wear this under my uh, helmet if i need to if we're on exterior operations or we're kind of winding down from the fire uh, with it being super cold out the negatives you know you get ice build up so i have these cleats that slip over my boots so when i'm walking on the ice i don't slip and fall I'm like a turtle my spare hoods spare gloves and my socks i also have a pair of pants that i can slip into usually we have a medic unit out there for uh, rehab to keep us warm um if the privacy is there i'll slip into something that's dry and somewhat warm so i always carry a pair of old ems pants with me and then i have a long sleeve uh shirt as well that I can slip into. Like I said, having some nice dry warm clothes makes you feel a hundred times better if you're out there for an extended period of time. That's my winter setup. Uh, during the summertime, I'll switch things out. I always carry extra chapstick. I also carry sunscreen uh, for the summer. Another uh, important item that I do carry along with my uh, all weather bag is a spare uh, radio battery because if you're out on an extended scene, your batteries don't last forever out in the cold. So I always have one of these that I can slip slip in there and make sure I'm still in operations. I can still hear what's going on out still on the fire. talking about stuff that I keep in uh, in here that might be something for my bunker gear going on runs. I made this little leather pouch. And with this pouch, is more towards auto vehicle accidents or an extrication. I always carry an extra set of cable cutters because they always seem to disappear when we need them. Um, I also carry a 
prying tool because we always pull and peek before we start cutting on cars to make sure we're not going to cut airbag cylinders or some type of device that might harm us if it uh, gets cut with the cutters or spread with the spreaders. And then I always have a window punch with me. The cool thing about this little pouch is I went to the hardware store and I got a magnet. So when I come up to the car, I just push it, put it up against the car with the magnet and it stays right there and it's, it's a working pouch when we're doing the extrication so in case something goes up. Simple forward. idea. All you gotta do is go to the hardware store, get yourself an uh, inexpensive bag. You can throw all your spare gloves, all your spare hoods and your socks in here. Grab and go, throw it on the engine or the medic unit and it comes with you on every call that you're going out on. Keep it simple, make sure it works for you and uh, you guys stay, stay safe when you go out on these runs.